Hi, welcome to OS Training's Drupal 8 Search Engine Optimization class. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the things we can do with our Drupal 8 site from a technical standpoint to optimize our site's attractiveness to search engines. I'll note that what we're doing here is really the second half of search engine optimization, or SEO. The first step of SEO lies primarily in creating great content that your potential visitors will find valuable and targeting keywords that your target audience is most likely to be searching for. We're not going to cover that aspect of SEO in this course, but we do cover that in our How to Improve Your Search Engine Optimization tutorial. So if you're not familiar with the general concept of SEO, you may want to watch that series first and then come to this one next. The bulk of this course is going to focus on using the Drupal module SEO Checklist. SEO Checklist is an interesting module because it doesn't actually do anything. Instead, it simply provides a checklist of things you should have and do on your website to improve your SEO from a technical standpoint. It's a great resource for improving your Drupal 8 site's SEO. We will be installing a number of other modules throughout this tutorial, but we'll start here with just a few. Go ahead and download SEO Checklist, and you can go ahead and install all these modules as well. Then the Checklist API module, which is simply a dependency for SEO Checklist. Then go ahead and grab the Module Filter module. This isn't entirely necessary, but it will help us navigate our modules as we're enabling things. And then go ahead and download and install the Devel module. Now I will note here, as of the time of this recording, the Devel module for Drupal 8 is in release candidate one, which means it's past development, but it's not 100% good to go. It should be fine and you probably won't have any problems with it. But if you do have any problems with it, don't worry about it. It's not absolutely necessary. It's just gonna help us with a few things. Go ahead and download and install all of these modules. You don't have to enable anything yet and come back when you're finished. Now we'll enable most of what we've installed. So on your Drupal 8 site, click on extend. And I'll make another note here. I'm doing this from a blank Drupal 8 site. I always recommend when you're testing out things like this for the first time, you do it in some sort of test or development environment. I don't recommend doing all of these things on a live site until you've gone through everything and kind of made sure you really understand what's going on. So once you're here on the extend page, we're gonna scroll down a bit and look for a few things. Here we see module filter. Go ahead and check that. Then we'll scroll down a little bit more. Under development, we're going to enable devel and devel generate. You don't have to worry about the rest of these. You can skip checklist API example, but then scroll down a little bit more and enable checklist API itself as well as SEO checklist. And that's all that we need for now. Once you've selected these, click install. And the first thing you'll notice, if you haven't ever used the module filter module before, is that now we have a little bit better interface for looking for modules. We can click on groups and have things come up very quickly and easily search for modules by name. This just helps us keep things a little bit more organized. At this point, click on configuration Scroll down and under search and metadata, click on SEO checklist. And you can see right off the bat, it's already found one item to check off of the checklist for us. And that is install and enable the SEO checklist module. So basically it's saying, oh wow, you've installed myself. Great, good job at that. Go ahead and click save. So it'll just save that information. And then the first thing you'll see is this get started page. You can glance through this on your own if you want, but basically I'll run through the most important parts. One thing this page notes is that this checklist that exists throughout all of these tabs will help you with technical SEO, but that it doesn't do much to help with the other side of SEO, which as I mentioned is your content marketing, your keywords research, and your overall marketing strategy. In other words, it's saying that the most important part of SEO is having good content that your target audience enjoys. Search engines are very smart 
And even if you have all of your technical T's crossed and I's dotted, it's not going to help much if you don't actually have good content on your website. So having strong content is step one, and then the things we're gonna do throughout this tutorial, particularly as we follow along with SEO checklist, essentially tell search engines as much as possible about our content so that they can easily find everything on our site and understand what our site is about. And also see that we're offering valuable content to potential visitors interested in whatever topics our site focuses on. Now, before we start, we're going to do one more thing. Click on Configuration. Then under Development, find Generate Content and click on that. If you're unfamiliar with the Devel module and particularly its ability to generate content, this basically will allow us to generate dummy content to use throughout the tutorial so we don't have to go through and manually create a bunch of articles on our own. This will give us some stuff to play with as we walk through the steps in SEO checklist. Obviously, if you're doing this on a site that's already been in development, you won't need to use the Devel module. And in fact, it's usually recommended to not have the Devel module installed on a live production site. But if you already have content, you don't have to worry about this. But if you don't have content, you're working from a fresh installation like I am, here at Generate Content, we're going to generate content of both of these types, articles and basic pages. And 50 nodes is fine. We probably don't even need that many. I like to set this back to one year ago, but that doesn't really matter. We'll keep maximum number of comments to zero. Maximum number of words and titles is four. That's perfectly fine. English is fine. Basically, most of the defaults here are just fine. Click Generate. And you should get a message that it finished creating 50 nodes, generate process is complete. And we can go and look at this if we click on content, or even if we go to our home page, we'll see a bunch of content here. We can view any given article or basic page, and it'll have some sort of dummy image and some lorem ipsum text. Now we've enabled the modules we need to get started. We have some content to use, and we're ready to get started optimizing our Drupal 8 site for search engine visibility.